So I will intend, which is to say from both the continuing by party debate, right? <laughs> uh, it's a great honor to be here uh, in service, so it's good, good to be with you today. So I'm, I'm going to just say in the Middle East does not stay in the Middle East. It has traditionally peril and promise. Uh, this is Trump time. This is a period where the designation of the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps will coincide with considering North Korea as a proliferating partner of the Iranian regime. North Korea and Iran share nuclear tests, ballistic missile tests, information. These proliferation partners are the problem. So in order to put pressure on Iran, you have to put pressure on North Korea. Really, the conflict in Yemen is primarily its dictatorial governmental form uh, on as many uh, is multifaceted. Uh, from the other question of um, the conflict between real terrorists and on the other side, uh, a response growing to the Iranian uh, support. Is a, uh, a deep-seated fear uh, among U.S. officials that the Iranian regime uh, is uh, not just meddling uh, in Syria, uh, but propping up uh, the Assad government. And uh, we know that uh, this administration is intent uh, on addressing uh, terrorism around the world. And uh, if they're interested in addressing terrorism around the world, they really have to start with the Iranian regime, and they really have to focus. Uh, on uh, addressing uh, issues uh, within Syria. And I think that begins uh, with uh, support for the Syrian opposition uh, and support for uh, the Iranian opposition around the world. Uh, in some ways, subjugation or attempted, so oh, I don't want to speak about this. Um, we see the responses. Dr. But when you look at the policies enunciated to uh, Iran, um, but this is a regime that... Uh, what the Central Liberman and General uh, Wald had emphasized is that good steps have been taken, but now it's time to put it in action. That's what's important. It's, it's important to see that uh, IRGC is being kicked out of uh, both Syria and Iraq. It's time to announce that, um, and it was just passed, a res resolution was passed in the Senate, in Congress to announce the, uh, what the belonging of the Supreme Leader and the Leader and Rouhani and the, you know, the authorities.